We begin tonight with a new radiation scare at Rocky Flats. Thank you for joining us. I'm Jacqueline Allen. And I'm Tom Mustin. Glad you're with us tonight. Here's the concern. A soil sample taken by the Jefferson Parkway Authority near the Rocky Flats left refuge shows an elevated level of plutonium. It's what people living nearby have been fearing even before the plans for a new parkway started there. De Denver 7's Lance Hernandez is asking questions about what exactly those tests mean. The sample was taken about a mile north of 96th Avenue, just west of Indiana. It shows a plutonium level higher than the standard of 50 picocuries per gram. The Parkway Authority not saying how much higher. A second test showed a much lower level. Was it a false reading? Was it legitimate? If so, what happens next? We need to slow this process down. Nick Hansen, co-founder of Rocky Flats Downwinders, an organization representing people who grew up near or currently live near Rocky Flats, says the refuge should be closed and highway put on hold. I want the our fellow citizens around the Denver area to finally wake up and realize that the federal government is not watching your back on this area. It was the federal government who caused this problem. Hansen says the highway authority only did the tests because they were pressured to do so. His wife Tiffany says they accompanied Dr. Michael Ketterer, a scientist studying plutonium in soil, while he took samples of his own in the same corridor. We found elevated levels, which means above background. But not everyone is alarmed by the findings. There's been so much uh, testing by governmental and non-governmental entities in that area for years that it's, 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 it's well beyond the norm of what um, is, has, has ever been found and what is expected to be found. David Abelson, executive director of Rocky Flat Stewardship Council, a group which provides oversight of Rocky Flats, says... We need to know more about this sample and see what the appropriate uh, health agencies say about it and figure out um, what they're going to recommend as a course of action moving forward. State health officials told our partners at the Denver Post they don't believe there is an immediate public health threat. Lance Hernandez, Denver 7.